It's like eight o'clock right now. My flight boards at 819, leaves at like 840. I just got through TSA, I'm heading to my gate. I'm like five, 10 minutes away, so it's been a little stressful. Good morning, I'm up early. It's my brother's wedding rehearsal. Tomorrow's his wedding, and then the next week is like Christmas, and the week after that's like my cousin's wedding. So in other words, I'm home for a very long time back in Georgia. I'm gonna go get coffee. Behold, Cortado oat milk. Let's give it a try. Not bad. Welcome back to a bigger video. We're here on Mark Bulia's channel. Today, we are Christmas shopping. What are, what's on your list? Who do you need to buy for? Mother, father, brother. Nice. And maybe Mark, if he's lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I think for me, I have my mom, my stepdad, my dad, my brother, my brother's wife, and... Oh my god, you gotta buy for the brother's wife now? That's I think I'm gonna do like sort of joint presents yeah, for... Just, just put both their names on it. No, like even for my mom and stepdad, because I think like maybe like one bigger thing would be better. I don't know, and also easier. We'll see what we can find. Where should we go? Besides where to sit down? I mean, Target might have some shit, but like, I don't know. Welcome to the Mark Boudelier Show, where we show Johns and sometimes drip. Drip or drown, baby. Yeah. I just got a jacket in the mail. It came from the UK, and I was very stoked to get it, hence why I shipped it here and not back home in New York. I am actually wearing it right now. It is from Craig Green. Big surprise. Let me lower you guys so you can get the entire experience. It is this lovely puffer that I have. Currently, just buttoned on the top. Wow, this angle sucks. And then you can see pocket, which you can actually unsnap it and use the pocket. Pocket, it buttons all the way up. And um, yeah, there's some sleeve details. This came from the Craig Green sample sale. And actually, one of the coolest parts about this is that show sample, show sample. This is a one of one. I think it's from Autumn Winter 18. Today we're gonna be rating you guys' outfits and figuring out who was the best dressed Mark Boudelier follower, subscriber, whatever, for 2023. I already did this on my story, so you guys already kinda had your vote. But now we're gonna have our vote. If you watched the last rating outfit video, you would know that Bryce, this outfit that is currently on the screen, won. So we're not gonna go back and do like the first half again. We're just gonna go from this point on. So I held a little tournament thingy. We're gonna go through, pick our winner for each one and kind of like move through the bracket, I guess. Cash, would you like to introduce yourself? Say anything? What's going on, y'all? It's Cash. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate Mark having me on the channel. Let's get defense rated. Let's go ahead and get into the first bracket. I put like four people head to head to head to head okay. just to kind of like, I don't know, move through it a little bit quicker. For the first bracket, we have myself as well as three other people. First outfit, it's looking like a lot of vintage, to be honest, head yeah, to toe. Yeah, this fit right here with the uh, headphones. Yeah, good accessories, we got the penis tie. I think he was actually in the first one. He was like the one person that actually carried over. Next is uh, me, wearing all of Colin's clothing. My least favorite is the shorts. <laughs> yeah, throw that out there. We have someone who submitted their girlfriend. And then finally we have this dude right here who is kind of an explore page demon. He just needs a, a coffee in his hand. From uh, the ALD Cafe. Who's your winner here? Definitely number three. Yeah, I think that's kind of like, People really liked number four. Like, number four came very close to winning. I feel like number three is very much giving Andy Miller Meester, Brenda hashtag, you know what I'm saying? And she could very well just be wearing, like, thrifted stuff, and it still just, like, looks very elevated, so. Yeah. That we'll just, we'll just, our vote is three. We'll just keep moving. Next bracket. This one is, like, all the homies, too. Like, I know all of these people in some regard. First fit, a little bit explore page looking. We got, like, sort yeah. of an all-black fit, but, you know, very well piece together. Seems like there's a lot of layers going on. Is that a double zip up hoodie or does he have two zip ups on? Looks like a double zip up hoodie. It's kind of cool. Yeah, there's a lot going on with the fit, but it's also very simplistic as well. The pants fit really well too. A good balance. It looks like he ripped the patches off his bomber jacket. Yeah. Sun fade. Thomas Hart. I yeah, that's like. cool. Fellow YouTube guy. He's literally like Jacob Wallace, Owen, and then of course his swag put into one. Yeah. And that's no, dis that's just being like speaking facts. That's, like those are yeah. good people to, to yeah. take inspo from. This guy right here, he wears like Hella factors. Like, he is a factors demon. He's got the George Cox shoes. I think those are some factors pants, maybe? I like his style a lot, personally. The photos are always clean. There's the classy, but like sleazy menswear. I don't know. And we have the boy, 
Jake John Howard yeah. <laughs> riding Rick at Dover Street That's Market. That's crazy. Digital footprint question. Mark. <laughs> yeah, people were not rocking with him on this boat. Like, they were really when not rocking get, with him. Oh, damn, 11%. <laughs> I rock with Jake. I feel like Jake's style is definitely out there, but it's personal. In fairness, you can't really see the, the fit that well. And lastly, we got Kendricky, which... I feel like y'all didn't really love this fit either. Like, even yeah. when he won originally, like, y'all weren't, like, loving it. But, like, I think it's cool. I think it's experimental. I think it's, like, I wouldn't expect a lot of people to, like, love it. But I think it's, like, very unique, very him. Aren't those uh, Y Project cowboy boots? They, where they go back and forth? Or the Maybe. Front? I, don't, I don't remember what they are, to be honest. But they're kind of sick. I'm not a big fan of this fit, but I do feel like he does a good job at experimenting and, like, showing his personal. Yeah. You know I mean? Like, that's, like, no one else but Kendricky, you know what I'm saying? Who would you say would take your vote i'm gonna go thomas I think thomas or benson i feel like benson has a cleaner look than thomas but thomas is is more biased like that's my biased pick yeah so bias or no like who genuinely like from being technical who has a better fit because then i give it to benson but if it's like which fit would i personally wear i'd go with thomas yeah i mean yeah the fit that i would personally wear would probably be number one i think the most complex and like interesting fit is probably number four and i think my winner would be number two we'll move two forward so so two. far we're in agreement with you guys it's actually like you know we're doing good all right next up i would personally say this was one of the weaker brackets in the beginning in my opinion bit pick three is crazy <laughs> number two is the one that won i think it's a clean fit yeah i don't know why but it's not insane yeah number two is definitely like it's not a bad fit but it's on some chill vibes i love the cuss but then the first fit uh not rocking with it i feel like <laughs> i see the i see what you're going for though the track pants on with the more uppity button up and it's like i see the vibe but it, i just don't feel like it was executed well i like the material mixing like the velvet with like the shirt like i i, I see what you, like i'm kind of with you though yeah like, I think execution wise it's kind of like eh. and then the fourth one i feel like this is definitely the best fit it's a cool one yeah i think that one actually is a little bit proportionally underrated. it all goes as well the, the colors go isn't and that great i think that kinda, you don't like, think so I feel like the photo could have been crisper, and I feel like that may have hurt him in terms of the vote. I'm going number four. I'm picking four if you're picking four. I'm going four. All right. It's our first, uh, our first alteration edit yeah. of you guys' vote. And I have to take a break real quick and pee. I bet, man. I'm just going to go publicly urinate, which is a crime. <laughs> um, I'm a bad boy. <laughs> Pause. That was crazy. While he's doing that, go. I'll go ahead and rock with the next uh, four brackets. The next bracket, if you will. So we have Ray, the homie. We have this guy who did some weird Fortnite edit with his homies, which, you know, props to you. It's cool, I guess. Uh, we have somebody's dad. And then we have the Karate Kid. You guys voted number one. I'm going to kind of cut the shit here and also vote for number one. I don't know what Cash is going to say, but I would assume he would also vote for number one. Also, I think he went maybe to a business. So maybe he's not publicly urinating after all. But I'm going to vote number one. We're going to keep it moving. And this next one is kind of where it gets a little interesting. I think this is actually one of the better brackets. We have the first fit right here, which looks to be like mostly like pieces that I assume she made herself. Self. Like this jacket is really insane. The pants are really insane. It all flows together very well. I like the layer underneath. It looks like some sort of button up. Number two, Ray. I think this is better than his fit pick in the last bracket. He won twice, so shout out Ray. I think this one is better. I really like this vest. It looks like something from like Ham Kiss or something. I don't know where it's actually from, but that would be like my guess. Number three, Ezra. Another homie. This man has more Craig Green than Craig Green. Shout out Ezra. Very clean fit. I don't really think it's his best fit. I actually think that he has better outfits, but it won nevertheless. In fact, I think he also is a two-time Fit Pick Saturday winner, so shout out Ezra. And then we have my boy, Corey, who is wearing the Story MFG. I also have that chore coat shirt whatever you want to call it kind of a silly pick but it is a clean outfit i would probably also give it to number one i think that this is just like an extremely strong outfit it's cool that a lot of it is made i assume by her i think most of these would have actually won other brackets and made it further along all right next up we have another good bracket maybe the best brackets or one of them we have once again ezra who is wearing the fall winter 17 tapestry craig green jacket the same one that I have. He's got on some looser jeans, cool little bag, the very long button up underneath, which I think is kind of a unique sort of 
styling choice, and then these shoes, which I don't know what those are. Number two, which is myself. I actually really like this outfit, and so do a lot of people, which is funny because I did not style this outfit. I went to Huben Shop in Chinatown. I've posted about them before, and the owner, Eddie, actually styled this outfit in a matter of two seconds. I took one look in the mirror. I was like, wow, this looks incredible. He was like, go ahead and, he was like, go ahead and take some fit pics out front if you want. I was like, bet, I'll do it. And sure enough, it got me a Heisenabiades Best Dress 2023. So uh, I guess point being that maybe I need a stylist. There's not really too much bias because I didn't even make the outfit. So there's that. Number three, we got Ethan. It's a little explore core, but you know, Ethan's definitely the type to wear like sort of the clean, classic, baggy fit, almost skatery type fits. And he does them very well. So and then lastly, we have Tanner, the Bodie boy himself, wearing a very classic men's wary outfits. I don't want to vote for myself here, you know, and it's just me in the car. Like, I don't want to just vote for myself, even though you guys threw me the, threw me the W. You guys put number two at Ezra, number three at Tanner. I would also probably give it to myself, to be honest. I'm not gonna, I didn't make the fit, so I don't think that's too biased to say. I'm gonna push myself forward. All right, we are now on round two, so you guys are gonna start seeing some of the earlier outfits again that weren't shown in this video, but were shown in the other rating fit pick uh, video that I posted way back. So we got Bryce, we got this other fit, this kind of Tyler the Creator looking fit. We got the Spider-Man fit, and so it's head to head to head, and then there's me in the corner. Number one, Bryce, I think, clears in this one. I think it's like clearly the best one. He got 41% of the vote, so pretty convincing victory. Next up, and we're still in the second round. Now it's all of the outfits that we have seen. We have Max's girlfriend, we have old Dirty Benson, we have effing Andrew. This one for me is a tight race between one and two. I would almost want to give it to two. I kind of understand where you guys are coming from. Number one, I think, has like some more complex layers to it than number two does. Number two is a way better photo. Like it's a really clear photo. It's a really like nicely, um, just a nice photo. I don't know, like good lighting. I go to the gas station because that's the only like public restroom here. He's like, you got to buy something. I'm like, bro, I don't have my wallet. Come on, Sway. He's like, no. I'm like, bro, I'm literally about to piss on myself. He's like, no, buy something. I'm like, bro, I don't have my wallet. So then I run out of there. I'm like, oh shit, where do I go? I go to one of those little restaurants that's by uh, the, where the golf store used to be, the outpost. She's like, yeah, we have only one public restroom. He's like, uh, you either have to sit down or you can go to the gas station. I was like, I just love the gas station. So I'm slick running over here. I'm like, bro, I'm about to pee on myself. So I just went over to that little cut over there, just pee on somebody's house in there, man. <laughs> and that's how I ran in here. This is where I was going to kind of give you your choice here because i'm between one and two yeah and part of me would almost give it to number two we give it to number two benson number two all yeah. right that's our next edit you know we got we're we're already switching it up a little bit on you guys now we have ray we have the fit we just looked at and then we have myself i personally agree with this rating to be honest like i kind of figured this was where i was gonna like depart from the competition. I'm not a fan of number one. It's definitely not Ray's best fit. I'm in agreement on two. So. Either two or three. We'll, Either give, two it, we'll or three. give it to two. We'll give it to two. I think Actually, well, go ahead. I was going to say three only because there's more layering going on. True. I like the details of the jacket, like the silvers, the fit pick is, I don't know, this three is crazy, bro. I'm going to push two forward. Otherwise, I feel like I'm going to wind up winning and then I'm going to be like making this whole video to basically tell you guys that my fit is amazing. <laughs> We're now in the finals. That was quick. That was very quick. We got Bryce. Benson made it. So her, Benson. Benson is Justin, yeah, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. So huh? Justin, Benson is Justin. Oh, okay. That's his name. But anyways. Instead of the girl. Yeah, so it would be Bryce, Justin, and the girl. And to be honest, I'll let you give your opinion as well, but I don't think that it even matters. Cause like for me, I would probably give us number three. Yeah, not gonna go with Benson. I feel like his fit's a little bit too basic in comparison to one and three. To take I'm, the whole thing. Yeah, yeah I'm not yeah. the biggest fan of number one, which in comparison though, now the more I look at number one and compare it to Benson's fit, it makes number one look much better <laughs> because it's just more going on. I like, think number more one is really style. solid, honestly. And like, he was the one who ultimately took this whole competition from you guys' perspective. It was actually like the closest race ever. Like I would check and then I would check again, and it was just like flip-flopping back and forth. And then yeah. finally, I called it at, once it hit midnight, I called it and gave it to him. I woke up the next morning, and she was winning. And then at the 24-hour mark, he had officially won. So, yeah. um, I'm going to give it to, I'm going to give it to three, though. Yeah, I think I would give it to three as well. I think uh, it's a close race. There were a lot of good fits. I'm not going to, not trying to gas myself up, but I think my outfit, I almost think, I would get. I would say she's number one. My fit is number two. Yeah. Bryce is number three. That's me. I didn't style the fit. 
I'll, I I'll would say that you're number one, she's two, and then Bryce is three. I, again, I, I personally, no dit riding, no glazing shit. I do believe that fit is like top. That's probably your best fit. I appreciate it. I didn't style it, but I, I, I wore it. Bye.